This could become a major hurricane. There's Fort Myers and Cape Coral. There's Tampa and uh, St. Pete. A lot of folks heading down there this weekend for the Packers game. They will be fine. It'll be sunny and 90, but there's going to be a lot of preparations going on uh, in the Gulf Coast of Florida over the weekend. So traffic might be a major, major headache. But over the weekend, weather's fine. It's Tuesday night, Wednesday. That could be rough for the Gulf Coast of Florida. Back here at home, we were in the 30s and 40s this morning. We had frost in some low lying areas this morning in the inland areas. Up north, they had a freeze in the UP and the Northwoods. Today we got up to 65 or 64 degrees, excuse me, and we did have the clouds in the afternoon. Just a few sprinkles around southeastern Wisconsin, currently 54 in West Bend. Not as chilly tonight. We're in the 50s, a couple of spots in the upper 40s, but we won't see 30s because clouds have moved in and with those clouds, a few sprinkles moving in as well and some light rain will move in overnight tonight ahead of that cold front and we'll have hit and miss rain showers uh, before sunrise. And then during the day tomorrow, partly cloudy, maybe a sprinkle, but a better chance of rain as we get into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. A high tomorrow of 68 degrees, mostly cloudy. And again, the better chance of rain tomorrow night into Sunday morning. And the temperatures this weekend will stay in the 60s. So here's your seven day forecast. Oh, seven day forecast isn't going to show up. Ah, uh, temperature tomorrow, 67, 66 on Sunday. And then believe this or not, upper 50s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for highs. Wow, so fall is not only here, but it's here to stay. It's staying. All right, Brian, thank you.